How's it going, fellow Helldivers? I hope you guys have had a great weekend cleansing the galaxy of filthy bugs and stomping the metallic skulls of the automatons. Now, in this first update video for Helldivers 2 on this channel, I just want to bring you guys some news here because this is with regards to the connectivity issues that's been going on. You know, the server issues, the big problem we're all having because most of us can't even play the game no matter what platform you're playing on, either PC or PlayStation 5, because the servers are essentially overloaded. <laughs> Because guess what? Helldivers 2 has reached an astronomical number of players trying to play the game at the same time. And just recently it reached over 400,000 people consecutively who wanted to play on Steam or on PC. And uh, I wonder how many of us actually got to play the game. Now, I've managed to play the game every now and then, but most of the time I've been playing solo because I can't find anyone to play with. And when I do, it's very few and far between. And now it seems that we kind of know what's really going on here. And it's not really about the servers. So this is not an official statement from Helldivers 2, but the CEO of Arrowhead Game Studios here in Sweden, Johan Pilestet, actually responded to a comment on Twitter where he alluded to what the real problem is with regards to all the connectivity issues. So a couple of days ago, Johan went ahead and posted this tweet saying, so a bit of a retro of this week. I am completely exhausted by the success. So is the team. Many, many late nights on calls, emergency meetings, discussions around server capacity, shards, capacity units, CPU utilization, login rates, and CCU. Tired, but very, very pleased. So by that statement, we know that Arrowhead are working really hard at solving all of these issues. Okay, because they obviously want us all to be able to play the game. And to that, another user called Timo Schmidt responded with, get in touch with Microsoft, bring Helldivers 2 to Xbox and enjoy limitless server capacity in exchange. Weird that Sony didn't come in clutch yet. Now, as much as I agree that we all want Xbox players to be able to enjoy this game too, not sure that's really the issue here. And of course, Mr. CEO himself comes back and responds with, it's not a matter of money or buying more servers. It's a matter of labor, as in work. We need to optimize the back-end code. We are hitting some real limits. Now, for any of you guys who are not computer geeks here or who are not coders or who does not know programming, what the hell does back-end code mean? Now, I'm not a programmer either. Neither am I a game developer or anything like that, so I have very limited knowledge on this. But according to the Helldiver subreddit, things aren't looking very good, unfortunately. As an example, we have a response from the user Pluristan here who says, basically, the capacity isn't going to be increased for an unknown, probably long period of time because their backend code is at its limit. Another user called Hoagie Sun responded, this isn't good news though. It means that it will take longer to fix. The game doesn't seem to be designed to handle the load regardless of the servers. And we also got a user called the Wayward Oak who actually sort of explains what the real problem really boils down to. And it's a lot, but let me read it for you. Backend code is basically what runs on the server accessing databases and such. There's probably a bottleneck somewhere that limits the number of clients that can access the servers at once, regardless of the amount of server capacity available. Even if you had a thousand bank tellers and a thousand vaults, you might still be bottlenecked on the number of transactions you can complete by one person checking to make sure you aren't withdrawing the same money twice. For example, that kind of thing can be difficult to scale because if there's more than one person evaluating the transactions, they'd have to check each other's work to make sure they haven't both allowed the same withdrawal to go through. For context, in web programming front-end code, it is the website that runs your browser and prompts you for your username and password, while the backend code is what runs on the server and actually checks a database to make sure your account information is correct. So essentially, all the background information that runs without you seeing it, that makes sure that everything works properly, like your currency, like your medals, like your super credits, like everything that's tied to your account and more, such as the real time progression where we have the galactic war, right? Because we're all fighting to win the war for super earth, right? <laughs> 
and that seems to be the problem. It's not so much about the servers, it's just that the coding is not built for the amount of players that are joining. And the more players that join, the worse it's gonna get. And it's already bad enough, because you, you can barely find anyone to play with, unfortunately. That said, I have to say that Helldivers 2 is probably the coolest surprise I've had in such a long time. This game was barely on my radar, and I've been losing so many hours to it. It's probably the best extraction shooter I've played, and being originally a Mass Effect YouTuber, it does remind me a lot of the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, in case any of you OG players are still here. <laughs> In any case, I really hope that Arrowhead manages to fix this because this game is amazing and for being a live service product, I am genuinely surprised because you don't actually have to pay a single dime. You can actually farm the in-game super or credits by just playing the game and picking the credits up when you find them across the map. That's how easy it is. You don't have to pay anything for this. They give you access to do it in case you feel like you wanna, you know, you don't want to waste your time if you just want to be lazy about it then fine that's that's fully okay and that's th i think hell divers 2 really is the type of game where they've managed to struck a really great balance and i really hope that this is the future for live service games and that other companies and publishers takes this as sort of an inspiration for the future. In any case, if you feel like you need to refund the game because you can't play it, that's absolutely fair. And I do understand that a lot of you guys are frustrated because you can't even play this game. But if you can, do give the devs some time to work this out because as it seems, this could take some time. But it's not as simple as just getting more servers. So let's try to kill that entire rumor that that's going to fix everything because it's not. In any case, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, have a great day. Mr. Alton, signing out.